Hi, my name is Donna Cooner, and I'm the author of the book Skinny. Skinny is the story of a 15-year-old girl named Ever Davies who wants to become a singer, but her negative thoughts about her size keep her from achieving her dream. That voice of self-hate in her head is so powerful, she even gives it a name. She calls it Skinny. In the book, Ever decides to have weight loss surgery, and she does lose weight, but finds that losing that voice in her head, that skinny, is even harder. Current statistics estimate one out of every five teenagers in the United States is overweight, and that figure has nearly tripled in the past 20 years. But knowing statistics is not the same as living it. You see, skinny is a very personal story for me. At the beginning of the book, Ever weighs 302 pounds, and that's exactly the weight I weighed when I went in to have weight loss surgery. I'm intimately aware of how it feels to not fit into a desk or how it feels to walk down a hallway and be out of breath. I've struggled with obesity my whole life and know firsthand the mental and the physical impacts, especially in a culture where the media tells our young women every day their value depends on the way they look. I also know about the destructive power of bullies. When you're 5'1 and weigh over 300 pounds, you know about bullies. But sometimes the worst bully of all, and the hardest one to fight, is the one that lives between your own two ears. Weight loss surgery was a good thing for me, but it wasn't a magic wand. And while I've ended up a lot healthier, I didn't end up skinny. I still struggle with body image issues. In fact, I think skinny was just whispering into my ear a few minutes ago before I started filming this video. Hopefully the story of Skinny will find its way to others with that battle too. Maybe those thoughts aren't saying you're too fat, but maybe they're saying things like you're too stupid, or you're too ugly, or you're too poor. I just want to whisper in your ear and say you're so much more than that. There was a moment in time when the idea for Skinny first appeared. As a university administrator, it's my privilege to sit at the podium and preside over graduation ceremonies every semester. A couple of years ago, while I was listening to the graduation speaker, my chair broke and I ended up in a heap of regalia on the stage floor. There was a collective gasp from the crowd of over a thousand. I was completely mortified. Later, I sat trembling on the new chair they brought me and blinking away embarrassed tears and I was thinking of every single fat moment in my whole life, and there were a lot of them. When I eventually told friends and family about the incident, they were horrified for me. But eventually I laughed, and they laughed too, a lot, because bringing a sense of humor to the tough times in life is really important to me. When we finally stopped giggling, they all said, you have to write this down in one of your books someday. So I did. You'll find it in chapter four of Skinny.